a tiny new island of lava has formed on the northernmost part of the ocean entry from Fissure 8. During this morning's overflight, HVO's field crew noticed the island was oozing lava similar to the lava oozing from the broad flow front along the coastline. A closer view of the new island, which was estimated to be just a few meters offshore, and perhaps 20 to 30 feet in diameter. It's most likely part of the Fisher 8 flow that's entering the ocean, and possibly a submarine tumulus that built up underwater and emerged above sea level. Since early May 2018, the floor of Halamomau Crater has dropped about 1,480 feet extensive cracking and faulting around the crater, along with inward slumping of the crater rim, has more than doubled its diameter. Like a balloon slowly losing air, subsidence occurs because magma in Kilauea's shallow summit reservoir is moving, into the east rift zone more rapidly than magma is being supplied from depth. Seismicity has increased as has been the pattern leading up to collapse, explosion events beneath the summit. The last event occurred with energy equivalent to a magnitude 5.3 earthquake. We expect a higher rate of earthquakes, 25 to 35 per hour, to continue until the next collapse, explosion event occurs later today. The Hawaii Island Youth Ranger Program at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is an educational employment opportunity for local high school students. The program strengthens our connections to the community and advances the National Park Service mission to protect our natural and cultural treasures so everyone can enjoy them, now and in the future. They're out there clearing trail and uh, painting, uh, painting our buildings and leading guided tours, taking the public out and teaching them about Hawaii volcanoes. Um, they're they're uh, removing invasive species, planting native species back on the ground. They're even taking care of our administrative work. Uh, every division in the park has youth rangers right now and every division benefits from having them. I'm the, I guess the welcoming face. This experience positively impacts me by giving me a lot of life skills I won't learn at school or um, anywhere else and this is my first job experience so it will help me and benefit me. For young people like us, um, this program starts to throughout our junior year so it helps a lot with like um, like experience. And those who are um, interested in it have a great chance of succeeding. They're already on the Pathways program. They're moving into potential careers even through just joining this program as a junior in high school. I can take in all the skills and things I learned from this job to go into my right career pathway, which I will want to be a, a 
work for the National Park as a law enforcement ranger. I'm helping the park by preventing emergency medical situations, uh, search and rescues, um, assisting visitors with their needs, pretty much just answering questions uh, for visitors and helping them out where to go and where they want to see, what they want to see. It gives us work experience and more knowledge about native plants. Every day we um, we go to different to different parts of the park and we cut fire trees. And fire trees are one of the most invasive species in Hawaii. As a youth ranger, I have learned many things, such as how important it is to protect the natural and cultural resources of the park. What I like about the youth summer program is that we get to be outdoors a lot and then that we can also help out the environment. I feel that the work that we do is what makes it like everything happen. It gives us people skills. And yeah, then, we learn many skills. Yeah, it's to work with like other diligence, people. you can't slack off. And patience and like being a hard worker. There's weird names for tools that I never knew that were like useful and all of that. It also gives us experience and especially since we're like locals here and they're like giving us a chance to work where we're close to home. I get to learn more about like just like Hawaiian culture more general they go more like in depth with it like you get to hear about the old stories because their national parks they have more information and I get a lot of like uh, good work experience from this that you know, kind of thing. Like, I think that our generation would bring more of our younger people to come to this program and help them out and would make more younger people feel involved. I think this is like one of the best things that's ever happened to me actually because um, it has a lot to do with the kind of person I want to become. Like I want to work more in um, like public communications and political science. I get to interact with people. I get to uh, talk to them um, and educate them about the land and stewardship and that sort of thing. For them to actually learn how to speak and do public speaking and have these skills something that's going to ride with them their whole lives and make a difference in everything they do. It's helping me uh, be able to interact with people better and um, that's just somewhere that I want to be that I wasn't before. And through this program I understand why this park is so important. Our land can be taken for granted. Yeah. This job may be more humble. If I do get the chance in the future, I'd love to come back. So I think it is inspiring the younger children or the next generations. These young people are the future of the Park Service. Every year I'm amazed at the way the youth change from the time I meet them and they can't really look me in the eye and speak to uh, by the time they're done with their employment opportunity. They're standing on the rim of the caldera teaching people from around the world about what the park is all about. Seeing these young people learn and care about our national parks really gives me hope for the future. These young people are learning how important it is to take care of our natural resources and they're going to carry us into the next century.